Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you may be. This is the Crypto Crow. There's no picture of me because, quite frankly, I don't even like to look at myself when I'm shooting these videos, so I figure we're going to do things just off my laptop screen because I'm in a different room. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure I got a video out tonight because uh, there's a lot happening and I wanted to kind of show you guys some things. Now, uh, basically what you're looking at right now is my current profit trailer dashboard, my monitor. You're going to notice I've got 48 DCA bags in here. Now this, to be quite honest, is very common for me. I, a lot of what I buy is they turn into bags. That's just kind of how I have it set up. Um, the, your DCA bags are where you're going to make a lot of profit. Um, I've sold... Um, you see, I mean, this is, this is 275 trades and I just set this bot or I just set this, uh, bought up on a VPS about three days, two and a half, three days ago. So when it's saying, you know, profit last week, uh, based on USD value, this is just over a course of like two and a half days. Um, and, uh, you know, profit yesterday, 0 0.03 Bitcoin profit today, 0 0.02. I had more yesterday because I was starting to accumulate some bags, but I was making a lot of fast trades. Boom, 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 boom. And then I'd get a couple bags. Boom, boom, boom. Get a couple bags. And then today, I mean, these past two days, man, I mean, you know, in a nutshell, with Bitcoin just shooting through the roof, uh, like right now it's at $16,680. Okay. Now, first thing I want to mention is this big pump and dump. Thing that's going on right now um, I am a very firm believer at this point that with the futures market getting ready to launch here soon I know that in my opinion I think Wall Street is doing this on purpose I think what they are doing is they are loading up I think this huge spike when have you ever seen Bitcoin spike up like this three four thousand dollars in a 24 hour period 48 hour period never it's never happened and it's just a big coincidence that the futures market is getting ready to launch. So you've got all these Wall Street bankers that want to short the hell out of Bitcoin. And what they're doing right now is loading up. That's what this spike is. Ha that's what's causing this increase. And then once those futures markets hold or go, they're going to start dumping. And they're going to dump hard. And I honestly... I mean, you know what? Don't take my advice. I am not a financial advisor. I may not know what the hell I'm talking about, so don't trust the word I say. Go do your own research, okay? But I truly believe that these guys are looking to load up on Bitcoin now. They're going to spike the shit out of the value. And then as soon as these futures markets open, they're going to dump and Bitcoin's going to drop hard. So... You know, we'll see. I could be totally wrong. I could. I could be totally wrong. I mean, I have a clue what the hell I'm talking about. But because of this spike, because of Bitcoin rising so fast, there's no way to get rid of these bags right now. There's just, it's not, I mean, I had 50 today. I've sold two of them. All right. These bags are huge. 40. Some of them are, well, a couple of them, 50. 63%. BTG is negative 63%, okay? And I only have one, apparently, so it's not a huge deal. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's the bulk of my, my budget right now. Now, this happens all the time. I mean, in, with a bot like this, bags happen, right? Some of these are one tier, a couple two tier. Uh, I don't even think, okay, I've got one three. Oh, so basically, the biggest ones are in a three tier right now. So here's the thing. I see some people using the bot and then they get bags like this and they freak out. Oh my God, I'm at a loss. It's negative 30. I've lost 33%. No, you haven't lost anything. Right now, this is just saying that the, the amount of the coin you own has dropped enough. I mean, this is Litecoin. It's dropped 33%. Do you not think Litecoin is going to go back up once Bitcoin gets situ situated and more stable? Of course it will. You haven't lost anything. The only time you've lost anything is if you sell it. The bot hasn't sold it. The bot is holding this stuff. And it's telling you, look, 
I bought this stuff. The value's down, so we're not going to make a profit. So we're holding on to it. Okay, and it's watching. It's watching to see is there an opportunity to buy or opportunity to sell. If there's not, we're going to continue holding. It's also looking for opportunities to go into a third tier because I have this set up right now with a three tier DCA because I wanted more coins. I wanted more uh, options as opposed to having four tier DCA on and and not you know having thirty bags instead of forty eight. Uh, I prefer to have more bags because some of these are going to go up sooner than others. Okay. Uh, power token. It's down 44.87%. Do you not think power token's going to go back up? It's a damn altcoin bloodbath right now, people, and it's okay. This is not going to last. This whole thing going on with Bitcoin is not going to last. It's going to take a few days at least to shake out, I'm sure. It might even get to $20,000 before the futures market kicks off and everybody starts dumping the shit out of everything to kind of to lower. Uh, ultimately, they want to dump this coin. They want to get the price down. Probably they might try to get down to five grand. They might try to get down to three grand. Who knows? Maybe a grand. I don't know. I don't know exactly where this is going. What I do know is what they're planning on, what they're trying to do. And I know Wall Street and all these muckety mucks and Wall Street and banking want to control Bitcoin. And here's what I see happening. I mean, you know, honestly, you've got all these Wall Street people who spent all this money on SEC this, SEC that, license this, license that. They don't know shit about any of this stuff. Very few of them have taken the time to even research. I've got a finance, I've got two financial advisors that come to me for advice on cryptocurrency because they don't really know anything about it. They're too busy worrying about their 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 market. You know what they do? Stocks, bonds, shit like that. So um, and I think what's going to happen is, is this is going to, they're, they're going to dump Bitcoin and then they're going to go back into it. Um, and they're just going to reposition themselves in a much better place. And that, that's, what's going to happen. Now, when that, when the price does start tanking and it does start going down, which I do believe it will, um, then you're going to start seeing these bags sell. Okay. And the, the good thing is, is that if Bitcoin drops down to, let's say the bot bot this stuff while Bitcoin was, you know, at a, a much better place. Well, you're going to have a better opportunity to get some serious profits in these coins. So that being said, there are some coins where you have fallen victim to pump and dump. Okay. What's a pump and dump? Pump and dump is pretty much exactly what I think is happening with Bitcoin right now. You got a bunch of people or a person, a big whale, whoever, they've got a lot of resources and they go into a coin and they buy the hell out of it. They just put in a buttload of buy orders and they get the price up and then they dump it. And then when they dump it, the price goes down and everybody's screwed. And the bot, it's really difficult uh, because you can set up a lot of stuff. And outside of manually adding every individual coin that you want to buy, I've learned because I tried that. Excuse me, it's getting late for me. Um, I've tried that, but you just, it, it doesn't, um, you don't make anywhere near as much profit. So how do you find out if it's a pump and dump? All right. So what we do is we'll go here. So I see this is negative 2.2%. All right. So I'm going to click that and make sure that my, yeah, okay. It's full. just making sure this is working here. All right, so this is going to be the chart whenever it pops up for Ripple. All right, so I'm looking at this chart. Wow, so Ripple's jumping up, so that's cool. This is a downward trend coin. I typically would not even put this in my bot. I would probably keep one of these out, all right? But there's a little bit of volatility here, and you know maybe you can make a little bit, little tiny bits of cash trading this. This does not look like a pump and dump to me. This just looks like, I mean, it might be being pumped right now, but um, there's so much going on with Ripple. So I, there are so many people trying to enter the crypto market right now. And so, you know, and Bitcoin's so expensive and everybody's fearful about this whole pump and dump with Wall Street and the futures market pushing the price down and all that. But right now it's going so high, it's just out of a lot of people's reach. And there's still a lot of people that think they have to spend sixteen thousand dollars to get one bitcoin they don't even understand the, the fractional element to it um the satoshi side of it they don't understand that you can break it down 
Um, so people think that you got to spend, you know, 16, 17,000 to get one thing to get like a, like a share of stock. You know what I mean? So that's confusing a lot of people. So they're like, well, man, I hear a lot about Ripple or Litecoin. I can go buy some of this stuff. So you're going to see some of that. That's good. But this is not, in my opinion, a pump and dump. So we're going to try and find a pump and dump. And let's see. Let's go down here because it's probably one of these big bags I'm holding. I've never heard of this. EDG. Let's see what this is. Edgeless. All right. So, no, this doesn't really. Uh, that was on two. Yeah, I mean, this could be a pump and dump. It's really taking a bath. Um, so basically, when you look at a coin, and you know, you see the price over here on the 26th, and then it's it's still on the 28th, and it goes down, and it goes down, and it comes up a little bit, and it seems pretty stable through here, and then boom, like just. Boom. Typically a pump and dump happens in the same day, but you can see, you know, this is over a couple day period. Um, I mean, look, this is right. This is around when Bitcoin really started to shoot to the moon. So, and this is when all alts just took a dump. Boom. It's down. So this might not be a pump and dump. Typically a pump and dump, you're going to see, you know, stable, 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 and then boom, like all in one setting. Boom. It always, it goes straight to the top. And then, boom, it comes right back down, like almost instantly. That's what people do because they want to get these bots to buy into their coin. And um, and it works. So, in a situation where I know I've got a hard pump and dump coin, it, it, so here's here's the thing. I, I At first, I would go through and I'd say, okay, this is definitely a pump and dump coin. And since this is so prone to pump and dump, I'll just take it out of my bot manually. So, if you... You know, if I look at my my bot file, um, you know, I've got a bunch of stuff. Let's see if I can go in here a bit. Give you guys something different to look at for a minute. So, right here, these are these are coins that I don't want to trade, right? I mean, I've got Ethereum in there, it's true. Um, but these are coins that I don't want to trade. EMC2, here, this is a coin. I actually kind of regret it now. Um, EMC2 pumped on me hard crashed in seconds it seems and i'm like oh my god and it was when i was first starting to use this bot i'm thinking man i don't want this and it was like negative 38 percent and i'm thinking oh man i got a pump and dump bag right so i'm like all right so i put this in my system as false i won't you know i don't want to trade it anymore and then i manually sold it within like 10 minutes of me manually selling this it shot back up like 43 percent and I'm like, son of a bitch, I screwed myself. And so I don't do that now. And at the time, I think I had like 38 bags. So I put my bot into sell only mold, mold, mode. Um, and, and that was it. I, I just let it go for a couple days. And then, um, and I ended up getting rid of everything. And then I started over. I changed my settings. I changed my settings to more conservative settings. And, um, and I'm like, you know, I'm just making trickles of money every day. I'm like, you know what? I've got like 1.2, 1.3 Bitcoin or 1.4, whatever the hell. And, and it's just not even using like a fraction of my budget. And so I just opened the floodgates again. And then as soon as I did that, Bitcoin started shooting to the moon and totally screwed me. So here's the thing. The whole point of this video, A, to kind of warn you a bit about what's happening with Bitcoin, Okay. Um, if you, you know, it might be a good idea to go ahead and load up on a bunch of bags, wait for the crash. It's a huge risk. I mean, because I, like I said, I don't know what the hell's happening, but you know, for the coin to go up 20% in a freaking day, that's nuts. And everything else is going down 20 plus percent because that's what happens. Everybody's trying to buy in thinking, oh my God, what if it hits 20? What if it hits 30? It could happen this weekend. And a lot of these people, they don't even know what's going on with the futures market opening up soon on Sunday. So they don't even know any of that. They just see, oh my gosh, I'm missing the boat, man. It's gone up like two grand overnight and I'm going to miss it. I got to buy in. So they dump all their alts, they clean the shit out of it, and then they put it all into Bitcoin. Um, you know, hopefully if you're watching this video, if you're, if you're probably going to have a bunch of bags. Don't freak out. Just sit and chill. Because when these, especially especially if you've got like tier two, tier three, tier four bags, just wait. Because when those things sell, you're going to make some fat gains. I'm telling you. I had a, a four-tier bag with Steam. And 
it's it's I sold it. it. It took two sales, and I sold them both. One of them was at forty three percent profit, and the other was at thirty eight percent profit. Um, and so, and I've I've shown that in my Discord channel. And um, by the way, the Discord guys, you guys are great, man. I mean, that, that Discord, I'm surprised. A, it's only been like a week or so since I started the Crypto Crow channel, and I'm already getting close to two hundred subscribers. That's really cool. Um, Hopefully, you know, and I, I've got a lot of you guys coming into Discord and asking questions and helping each other out. And, um, you know, I try to answer everything that I can. Do me a favor. If you join Discord, please, please, please ask in the group channels that I've set up for whatever you're asking questions about, whether it's ICOs or Profit Trailer or whatever. Um, I can't keep up with all the private messaging. And the idea is when you come into the channel and you ask a question and I help you, that question and answer can help a lot of other people that come into the channel as well. So, you know, if you want to ask questions and you need some help or some ideas or whatever, I'm more than happy to do that. But I really only want to do that in the group so that that helps other people with the same question. Otherwise, I could be answering the same question over and over and over again in private sessions. And I just don't have time for that. All right. Um, so that's really it. I just wanted to kind of go over the the idea of the pump and dump, how that stuff works, what to look for. Um you know, uh, like Ada. I mean, this, I am not worried about having that. I wish that was a four tier bag. You know, it's negative 30%. That's okay, man. Cardano, Cardano. Um, yeah, it's really hard to tell. Like, this is a bit of a pump right here. I mean, obviously, somebody pumped this and then it, it took a shit. So, um, and yeah, I'm at home by myself on my laptop, not even on video. I probably cost a little bit more. Uh, sorry about that. But um, that's it. So hopefully this is a little bit helpful for you. Um, any questions or anything, feel free to ask. As you can see, you know, I mean, this thing makes money. I mean, this this is a money printing machine. This profit trailer, Elroy, you know, the developer, great guy. I mean, you know, the fact that he's been giving away Binance licenses, you know, to get it tested. And it's like a beta for him, I assume. Um, but you know what I mean? A lot of these greedy crypto companies, man, they're just charging out the wazoo for everything and half of it's garbage. Um, I want to give a shout out to diesel. Uh, diesel's like immensely helpful. He's helped me a million times. Very patient. A lot of the people like in the profit trailer, uh, telegram channel, they're very patient, very helpful guys. The community is solid as a rock. Um, I read through that channel, man, and I see everybody helping each other and it just gives me warm fuzzies. And it was, it was inspiration for me to actually start Discord. That and um, the Goblin. Um, very cool guy. And, uh, you know, I'm in his Discord and I read some of the stuff. He's really building a solid community. Um, the Goblin is actually really who inspired me to use Discord at all. Um, I, I, I've dabbled in it because I, I played EVE online for a long time. And uh, as part of the uh, Vendetta Mercenary Group. I'm sorry if I've killed you. <laughs> but... Um, you know, and I kind of dabbled in Discord a little bit uh, at that time, and uh, but I, you know, I didn't really like it. But for this kind of thing and building a community, it really makes a lot of sense, and it's pretty fun. So anyway, I'll let you guys go. Uh, it's about eight twenty-one in the Eastern PM, and um, I just wanted to kind of get send out a little message and tell everybody, look, you're gonna get some bags. It's okay. Calm down. Put your bot in a sell-only mode. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you how to do that real quick, and then I'll. Oops. Just opened up another instance. Um, I'll show you how to do that real quick. And yes, I'm running this on a VPS, and it is working really, really well. Um, I had another. I set up a VPS at one point, and it kept shutting down after like 10 minutes. And I, there, was, there was no reason. I went through all the settings, and it, there was no reason for it. The support kind of sucked. Um, and uh, so I found another one. It's um, I forget what it's even called. I can post it in the um, the uh, channel, the Discord channel, if anybody uh, wants it. It's like 10 bucks a month. Uh, it's a 50 or 60 gig SSD VPS with two gigs of RAM. Um, basically, you know, like unmetered traffic, all that stuff, and, and it's really solid. Uh, so as you can see here, my DCA setting is enabled to, it's disabled until a crypto gets to negative 4% or more. And all sell only mode is true. So if I want the bot to function under my, my typical settings, then I can go ahead and change that back. But for right now, that's set to true. So I'm trying to get rid of bags. Um, that's it. So I will see you guys in another video soon. Have any questions, ask me below. Check the links and I'll see you later.